I'm today going to be talking about the Yamaha range of tenor saxophones. So on my lap here I have the YTS 280, the YTS 480 and the YTS 62 from Yamaha. So on my lap the YTS 280 has taken over the YTS 275 which is an extremely popular sax with a couple improvements. So you've got a more stable neck receiver and a more stable improved low B to C sharp connection key so it closes more firmly, it's more responsive. Um, this, as tenor saxes go, it's very light for a tenor sax and it feels really nice under the fingers. I've got particularly small hands and I can reach low C, low B flat, no problem at all. Um, this would be ideal for someone who's just starting out, wants to learn the tenor or is looking for a reliable doubling instrument as it comes with a good Yamaha 4C mouthpiece which is very user friendly and easy to blow and it makes an impressive clean focus sound which would suit a variety of styles. So here I have the Yamaha YTS 480 which took over the YTS 475 sax. This one's got a little bit more weight to it but nothing that would put me off. Um, but this weight adds to a more sophisticated sound. Um, there's also a slightly wider bore in the neck, which gives it, again, more sophistication, warmth, roundness. So if you're looking to take the playing, your playing to the next level, it'll be worth having a look at this one. It can go grade eight beyond quite happily. Um, and it also starts to feature some more engraving as well, like you see on more professional saxes, which will make it ideal as a next step up instrument. Okay, so last but not least, I have the YTS 62, um, which is a great sax for someone who wants something that could potentially last the rest of their career. Again, it's a bit more heavier than the 480 we just looked at, but it actually has a thinner taper in the neck, which actually offers a more compact, darker sound, which again, can do a large variety of styles. Um, the weight on this sax is actually made partly from the construction it goes through. So it has um, integrated key posts. So each post is put on a brass plate going around, which adds extra weight and stability. So if it does take a knock, it's more likely to stay in one place. Um, the sax also, along with the 480, has the ability to use custom Yamaha necks from the 82Z and the 875EX. So if you wanted to change up your crooks in the future, it can future-proof the sax um, by just changing the neck, which is really nice. Um, and this sax is actually made in Japan um, with all the other pro saxes unlike the other two so you get more of those professional features again so more hand graving which is absolutely beautiful going up the side here just looks nice and classy um, and better quality materials such as the hard steel springs which just give a really firm response and makes it very free blowing but with a very rich sound um, I definitely recommend having a go on all these saxes, whatever level you are in your playing. And if you wanted to, even consider the 82Z and the 875 custom ranges as well. Thank you.